Have you ever heard the saying, some things are just meant to be? Well, I've got a story that helps kind of prove that. What's going on everybody? My name is Rex. Hope you're doing well. I have tons of stories to share that kind of prove that that statement is true. But the story I'm going to share today is a brief story of how I tasted my first million just after the age of 19. So I didn't go to business school. I attended the school of life. Head first, followed by both feet. Growing up with a Chinese father, excellence was always my lowest standard. Being raised by a Laotian mother, my core value was honor. They're both first generation Canadians, so the typical was expected. Get a good job, save up for your retirement. However, I was a fuck up, lazy, didn't care for school, skipped so many classes I ended up having to retake during summer school. I had great core values, just in different places. At the very least, I was smart enough to secure an apprenticeship straight out of high school. I took advantage of the school's co-op program and got a placement at a big name auto dealer. And it was all going well, but I was bored. Three and a half years into my program, I just up and left after reading a few books that a cousin of mine sent me and meeting somebody with aspirations as big as mine. So I changed my plans and left my guaranteed career behind. Friends and family all thought I was nuts. I had no idea what I was doing. I just knew that what I was currently doing was not going to get me where I wanted to be. So I took a leap into the unknown, but I was soon to find out why it was all meant to be. And I found a place where I moved up the ranks quite quickly as a showroom sales manager. It was a showroom that sold construction materials, and this is where the magic all started. I realized I was a sales machine. I know it's kind of weird calling yourself a sales machine, but every single customer would walk out with more than they came in for. And even if they came in just to look, I would secure an order. Whether it was the end user or an industry professional, I was able to hold conversation, create rapport, bridge, upsell, secure value. Anyway, it's not about sales. I was so good that they paid for me to go back to school to continue education in the profession. This place was a family-oriented business run by a German man. Very intelligent, very precise. Between him, his wife, the general manager, and my co-sales manager, I learned all the ins and outs of how to run his business. And that's when my first bright idea came to me. I realized that there was nothing that he was doing that I couldn't possibly do for myself. And with that, I started my own design and build firm, where I started by door knocking to sell window coverings, moved up very quickly to doing full kitchens, bathrooms, and the next step was doing home additions. We were stuccoing entire homes, adding home additions, extra garages, full, massive $50,000 kitchens. But that's a whole other story to talk about. So as you see, at the time, I didn't know if what I was doing was right, but it turns out it was the right thing to do all along. Because since then, I've gone on to create five more businesses. So if you're watching this and you don't know where you are in life and you don't know what you should do, if you're bored and comfortable, go get uncomfortable. It's the best way to grow. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found some value in this video. If you did, let me know in the comments so I can post more things like this. Maybe I'll explain the story of how I did it and explain the story of the rest of the businesses. Again, my name is Rex. Make it a great day. Peace out.